Hi, it's Lauren. Welcome back to my craft room. I have a design team project from Time for Tea Designs to share with you. Today, I have a fun little kind of cozy card that I've created using the Perfect Day stamp set, as well as some of my favorite dies from Time for Tea Designs. So I've stamped out some of the images from the Perfect Day stamp set here on some alcohol marker friendly white card stock. And I'm going to show you some of my coloring. I use Spectrum Noir Illustrator markers, and I'm going to be using some kind of just like I said cozy colors that really spoke to me while I was coloring. First is using my BO colors to create kind of a terracotta orange, very warm orange color. I also use my ABs to create kind of a uh, aqua blue color as well. So I'm going to be coloring with blue on some of the vases as well as the books. And then finally, I'm going to bring out some DG colors. This is a dark green, and I'm going to use different shades to color in all of my different plants as well as one of my books. And then finally, one of my books will also be colored with TB colors, so more of a true blue. And then my little cat will be using ice gray, some blush to color in some of the details like his nose and his ears and cheeks. And then I'm going to use a colorless blender to blend out some of the ice gray. And that's the same combo I use for the white on my um my potted plant all the way on the right hand side. And then my book pages I colored in using cream just so it gave a little bit of an off white color. So again, my coloring is pretty quick today. I'm just showing how I did each kind of color combo once. And then I also grab the darkest color for all of my different markers and I add in just some little spots here and there to add some texture. Um, just it's something I like to do to add a little bit more dimension and fun to my images. And then I will also grab a white gel pen where I will use that to color in some highlights on my images as well as adding highlights to my little kitten's cheeks when I'm all done coloring. If you have any questions about my coloring, just let me know in a comment. I did my best to make sure I was always showing the color while I am coloring the top of the marker. So, but let me know if you have any questions. Here's a look at those cute images now that they are all die cut out. And I'm going to die cut a frame out of my rainbow gingham paper in a green color. And I cut a card base. It's a side folding card base. And this measures six by four and a quarter when it's scored. So I cut it to six by eight and a half and then scored in the middle to have that six by four and a quarter. And I glued my frame directly to my card base. So that's just going to give me my little windows to put together my scenes. My sentiment is going to be using the die set Hi Hey Hello and I'm going to be using the Hello sentiment and I have my shadow as well as the word die. So I'm going to cut my Hello shadow out of some blue gingham paper and then the word Hello out of black gingham paper and I'm going to glue these two together with some wet glue so that way I have a really bold sentiment and a fun blue shadow behind it. So now I'm going to grab all of my die cut images and I'm just going to kind of lay them out how I think I want them to go in all of my little windows. Here you can see I have everything lined up and I'm going to do a combination of using my wet glue to glue my images directly down to my card base as well as some thin foam squares to pop up some of my images. So my books were glued directly down into that lower right hand window and then I'm going to pop up my little glasses and then my plant and book on the top left hand window are going to be glued directly down. So using some wet glue to add that book like it's sitting on a shelf and then my wet glue to add this really cute potted plant to sit on top of the book. My two potted plants on the bottom are going to be popped up using foam squares. So I'm going to apply some of those thin foam squares and then remove the the paper off the back and stick that down to my window and I'm going to repeat the same process for my cat so he is also popped up in that top right hand window. 
So now I was going to adhere my hello, but I felt like it was too plain and I'm trying to achieve that cozy feeling. So I grabbed some orange cardstock that I thought matched my coloring pretty well. I die cut it out so it will fit perfectly in that top rectangle and using wet glue to adhere that to the top. And then just like with the rest of my popped up images, I'm going to add some of those thin foam squares behind my hello sentiment to give some dimension. And I will pull off that release paper and adhere that to my orange rectangle on the top. So now that my card is put together, I want to add just a final few touches. So I'm going to grab a pops of color in blue, which is a liquid embellishment. And I'm going to add seven little spots around my card. I like to do these in odd numbers. So I'm just put, uh, putting them down in various spots. And as I apply the pops of color, they kind of have a Hershey kiss look to them. So I open my card and I'm just tapping underneath to smooth them out and it gives it more of an enamel dot kind of of appearance. Here is a final look of how my little cozy hello card turned out. I really love the sweet little images and the colors I think really work well together. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you'll click like and if you're new here I hope you'll subscribe and come back. As always you can find everything I use down below in the description box. Thank you and have a wonderful day. Bye!